Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. I wanted to do a quick update to let everyone know how Amara is doing. As you can see, she's standing behind me. Hi, sweetheart. Yes. We picked her up from the vet's office last Friday. She's been here with us all week and through the weekend. Uh, she seems to be doing better. Um, Dr. Wagner did do an x-ray of her stifle joint and she, she also did a um, x-ray of her back hip to make sure that she didn't have any internal injuries or anything broken from her original fall. If you didn't see any of Amara's videos, I'll put a link in the description below to her original two videos from when we rescued her from the livestock yard and when we took her to the vet and what happened last week when she was in the barn and couldn't get up. Um, so she did stay at MVP for two days and she got some fluids and some electrolytes. Dr. Wagner does believe that she was having a mild case of colic. Did you have a mild case of colic? <laughs> Uh, but she did stay at the vet's office for those two days. Dr. Wagner is confused because she did not know um, why she was down and wouldn't get up. She does not see anything wrong with that back leg. She doesn't know if she's just sore um, from the injury that she has on that on her backside um, or what the situation is. She did get a laser therapy treatment on her neck and she does seem to be uh, moving her head around a little bit more. So that's a good thing. We're really happy about that. Um, her backside is healing up. There was a lot of people that asked if we were going to get her chiropractic care, and we are going to do that. Um, Dr. Wagner wanted to make sure that she was feeling a little bit better before we started doing any manipulations to her neck. Um, and she also wanted to do the x-ray on her neck, which she did, and she did not see anything um, from her x-rays to say that she has any type of neck injuries. So uh, we will be doing... Um, chiropractic treatment for her and if the, the uh, laser therapy continues to help her we'll continue with that as well so um, lots ahead for her um, she has not from what I can tell has not tried to lay back down we did put a camera in her stall so I can see her and I also get alerts and uh, motion detections and things like that uh, so I can see if she's what she's doing throughout the middle of the night and if she does start moving around I can see her I know your head's too big and it doesn't fit. <laughs> but she is doing well and she's healing up. But as you can see, her face is pretty cut up. Uh, the scabs are starting to fall off, uh, which Dr. Wagner said was normal. But we do have medications that we're using for that. And she's also going to be um, on an antibiotic for two weeks. Um, she did get some other little cuts um, from when she was down here at the bar in the barn. Um, her back, her hip is healing up pretty well, so is this one, and then her backside as well is healing up too. I did clean this just a little while ago, so that's why it's pretty red, but I don't know if you can see, but the hair is starting to grow back, so that's a good sign that she's healing up. These are a couple videos that I took over the last uh, few days. She was, uh, we've been taking her on walks uh, when we can, and we've also been letting her out in the paddock area with Liam and Dutch, so... Um, she has been getting exercise, and she's also been making some new friends. These were a few pictures I took of Amara when we first got her back home last week after being at MVP for two days. We were so glad that she was home. This was Amara enjoying her Alpha Pro dinner. If you're new to our channel and don't know what Alpha Pro is, it's a pelleted alfalfa fortified with vitamins and minerals for all our horses. We do soak it in water to make it into a mash so it's easier for these older horses to eat and digest. So this was Amara enjoying her Alpha Pro dinner. I have also been taking Amara on walks so she can get out of the barn and just get some fresh air. We have been getting a lot of rain here over the last couple days, so the days that it's been dry, I've been taking her for a walk as much as we possibly can. So this was her and the other horses were just on the other side of the fence, so she was checking them out and wanted to see what they were doing as well. This is Amara's favorite spot in the barn. She stands here because she gets fresh air from outside and the fan blows on her from the other side. But as you can see, she's lifting her head up a little bit higher and that's really good to see. 
We have been getting a lot of rain here lately and our runs to our barn are flooded. So I don't want to leave Amara out by herself unattended in these runs because I don't want her to slip and fall because the mud is very slippery. But this was her going out to the paddocked area for an afternoon walk. She does walk around with uh, Dutch and Liam usually. So this was her heading out for the first time out into the paddocked area. So as I mentioned, I was letting Amara out with Dutch and Liam. So this was her out in the paddocked area with them as they were grazing. Obviously, she can't lower her neck to graze, but I think she was just happy being out there with other horses. But just wanted to give you a quick update on Amara and how she's doing. She's such a sweet horse and I just, we feel so bad for her and just want, want the best for her and to make her feel better. So uh, we're doing everything we can for her and we will continue to do everything that we can for her. But keep her in your thoughts and prayers if you can. Uh, she still has a long road of recovery ahead of her. Um, she still needs to gain some weight. We are feeding her 20 pounds of Alpha Pro per day plus some coastal hay. Uh, she is eating all that and she's drinking well. We are giving her electrolytes um, uh, pretty much every other day, just on the hot days. Uh, we give her electrolytes and then we're also uh, giving her the probiotics because she needs that for her gut. So uh, thank you to everybody that has sent us probiotics and electrolytes. Uh, it's come in really, really handy and fly spray. Thank you all so much for the fly spray. It's been absolutely amazing. The flies are <laughs> starting to come out here now and um it's it's definitely helpful um, she is doing well so far uh we will keep you posted as much as possible like i said we've got family coming in town this week so i'll do um an update as soon as i can whoever did the rain dance please stop dancing because um we have plenty of we have plenty of um we have plenty of rain Everything around the farm is pretty much flooded because we've been getting so much rain lately. Over the last couple of weeks, we've gotten, I think they've said over four inches. So, and the rain is definitely not going to stop because it's supposed to continue this week. So, hi Dutch. Hello. Apparently he does want to be in the video. That's Dutch. Yeah. But I will do an update video on Dutch and Lena, who were the horses that we rescued after uh, we said goodbye to Lucky. So uh, we will do an update video on them as soon as possible. But 
Lots coming up and lots happening around here. But thank you all again so much for the wonderful gifts that you have sent us. They are absolutely amazing. Uh, there was some fly spray that came that didn't have a card in it, so I don't know who they came from. But thank you so, so very much for those awesome gifts of fly spray. They've been coming in so handy. The rain is kicking up now, so I'm going to have to say goodbye. But I will keep you updated as much as possible. And again, thank you all so much for watching. We truly appreciate your support, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.